And people are being notified that I'm live. And we have our first three. Hey, Two Fierce OGZ. Hey, Yonix Anis. Hey, Emily TW1700. Chris00. Arts Lex. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Welcome to a quick half an hour cartoon request. Just popping in to say hello and draw some cartoons with y'all. I'm scratching my head trying to think of somebody I should start the stream with. What character should I draw first? And I realized that sometimes someone will request Powdered Toast Man, but I seldom actually get to draw Powdered Toast Man. And Powdered Toast Man remains like one of my all time favorite uh, characters. I mean, I just thought he was so funny when I was, when I, when he, when he burst on the scene, when he came into Ren and Stimpy, wow. And then I think my first actual Spider-Man comic was Ren and Stimpy number, I'm going to say six, which is Spider-Man versus Powdered Toast Man, which, uh, if you haven't read it, it's a classic. Very funny. I think Spider-Man farts webs. In a Marvel comic. In an official Marvel comic. Although I'm pretty sure they would say that is not strictly 616 Spider-Man farting webs at Powdered Toast Man in Ren and Stimpy number 6, I think it was. Okay. Oops, I'm drawing totally off camera. What is that? Oh my gosh. Look at me, not even paying attention to the screen. I got so engulfed in the drawing... Okay, it's about enough of this uh, muscular toast man. Okay, what should I draw next, you guys? SpongeBob? Uh, draw the mask. Let me see if I... I, I don't want to uh, pass on SpongeBob, but I do draw him quite a bit. Let me just see if I can grab a the mask cartoon. Okay, let's look at this. It's nice to have you all here. I'm just popping in for a little bit to draw some cartoons with you and say hi and say I hope you're doing well. This is the cartoon version of the mask, I think. Thank you for those follows. Or is it simply a cartoon version of the mask? Actually, looks way too nice to be any depiction of the mask I'm super familiar with. The mask comic was uh, very indie, very intense. From any uh, reference image I've ever looked at, it seems like it's pretty, pretty bloody. A bit ghoulish, perhaps. Whatever I am drawing definitely seems to be the nice guy version of the mask. Maybe a little too eager to please. Okay. Coming up. Brim is coming down like so. Nice to have you all here. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. Got up on the right side of the bed today. Got the rest I needed. Started the day off right. Did some work that made me feel good and proud. And uh, now I'm here with you. How about you? Let me, uh, first, let me get my next suggestion because I'm about to wrap up on the mask. Wow, 4,000 people. Hi, everybody. Nice to have you here. The pleasure's all mine. Okay, what am I drawing next? I'm, I'm here for half an hour, so we got like... Uh, a little bit more than 20 minutes still. So, uh, oh, need to bring this around like so. I don't love the, the hat, you know, it's, I will just real quick come down and give him a little bit more visible clothing so that he's just really clearly who he is. Haha, <laughs> thank you for the weird cowboy mustache thing. <laughs> 
Uh, speaking of weird things you can do, I, I now have subscriptions open if anyone wants one. Uh, I don't really know what it means, but I think if you tap the thing up top, you get like special drawings of mine as emojis or emotes or whatever they're called. Anyway, I'm shy about it, but I'm telling you right now. And you're telling me what you want to see me draw next. Uh, Sam Hyde, Ghost Rider, Barney the Joker, Heisenberg, uh, Darth Vader. I did kind of botch Darth Vader the other day. Maybe it's worth a challenge. Okay. All right, check in. How's everyone doing? Give me a rating of your day on a score of one to five. How's it going? Seven, congratulations. Spark draws, is that what it was? Green Goblin, Radish Monster, both in the mid two section. It's actually not too bad. 2.5, right? Right in the middle? Wouldn't that make it an average? Or is it not right in the middle that's average? Five, the other Cameron. Congratulations, friend. Well, to my people who are having ones, twos, High twos, even threes. I hope that your number goes up before too long. And to my people who are currently feeling four and five, remember to do something nice for somebody. Help pick up somebody else's mood. It's a little bit thin. Okay, to me, the wings of the helmet. See, I kind of I don't know how I feel about it over there. I think that's the trickiest part with Darth Vader. Really should have come up like that. All right, skinny Darth Vader still didn't nail it this time. We'll come back around on him. All right, but I'm not going to color him all the way in. Somehow, it seems important to color underneath his helmet right now. Okay, what am I drawing next, guys? Carl from Up, The Flash, the guy from Fortnite, <laughs> uh, a gremlin. I could try a gremlin. That's a good suggestion. I never draw the gremlins. Drew Gizmo recently. I didn't love my uh, gizmo drawing. See how I do on just a classic full evil gremlin. Okay. I asked that uh, mood thing about how everyone's day is going uh, because I find that if I'm having a bad day, somebody asking how I'm doing can help. And also to tell you that uh, if you're communicating to me that you're in a bad spot, then I genuinely wish for something to change for you for the better. And that's a trick I tell with the people who chime in with fours and fives is if you go and try and pick somebody else up, it actually makes things better for you too. Okay.
Gremlins. Lots of details on a gremlin. I think it's okay. The ears are going to be what really defines it. What do we got for that? That mohawk kind of comes up over either side. Thanks for those follows. Thanks for the likes. We have to draw something nice, sweet, cute after this. Um, since I'm just sitting here being quiet, I will tell you, uh, I do have the subscription thing now. I don't know how that's going to go. I don't really know what it means. Um, but it's going to mean one thing is that subscribers will be involved in special projects. Uh, I'll do things that are for subscribers only, like special drawings, where I'll do one of my big mashup drawings, but only subscribers will get to request. I will start doing that right away. Like first subscriber I get, I'm going to start a drawing and then just add to it based on who else joins. It's a slow roll. I ain't in a hurry. Okay, he looks a little bit more. It's almost, uh, this is all sort of features of the gremlin's skin. His chin's probably coming down too far. It's not really coming down too far. It's that the mouth is open. I need to make it clear that that's what's going on. This will help. Yep, it's a gremlin. Or it's supposed to be. The detail I've put on it, which is based off of the uh, reference image I'm looking at, has made it a little bit... It looks, uh, it looks like it has face tattoos more than it looks like it has skin patterns. Maybe if I add the sort of scaliness... And then down here. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to draw something else, something cute maybe. Uh, Powerpuff Girl, Blossom, Bambi, Mr. Bean. It's your mom when she didn't when she stepped on the Lego. That's funny, Mr. Bean, Gremlins, Spike. What's Lemon Demon? Well, let's talk about Lemon Demon here for a second. I just like those words together. It sounds like an Adventure Time thing, maybe, but it's not. But yeah, um, I think I can probably pull off uh, Lemon Demon pretty quickly here. Okay, Lemon Demon is a bunch of floating teeth. The bottom kind of have a bend to them. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the follows. comes out from right behind the teeth. Eyebrows? No eyebrows. Uh, big black pupils showing no reflection, largely soulless. I don't know what this thing is from, but uh, I, I like it. This is my, uh, this is my type of uh, uncomfortable or creepy or weird or whatever.
I know this drives some people crazy. My pens are low on ink lately. Um, I know it gets some people when I'm not all filled in with black, but to be honest, it doesn't actually bother me that much. I think it bothers other people more. And I usually want to just move on to my next character. So what are we drawing next? Okay. Bing bong from inside out. Solid. That's a, that's another good one. These uh, sort of secondary characters. Uh, Powder Toast Man fills a similar uh, space to me as uh, Bing Bong. Good one, Bing Bong. He has a heart. Yeah. Heart for a an end of his trunk. Mouth comes up to there. Not too bad. Got my spatial uh, fortune with me today, I guess. Feeling like I can manage getting things pretty lined up. Need a rainbow flower pin. And that's pretty much bing bong, I guess. Bow tie, right? Bow tie and uh, flower brooch. Bold. Style choices for bing bong, you know? the jacket come back around here okay there's your bing bong actually he needs whiskers too doesn't he Yoshi Fred Flintstone Naruto Rock Lee or Naruto Snoopy uh, yeah the bing bong scene is pretty heartbreaking that's right up there like the uh, uh, incinerator at the end of uh, Toy Story 3. Spoiler alert. Uh, Joker, Thundercat, Scrap from Ice Age, Salad Fingers. Uh, hey, if you want to draw but you can't draw, show up for my classes on Tuesday and Thursday. They're here on TikTok. We draw cartoons. We talk about it. Salad Fingers, Wiccan. Wiccan has been requested so much. Uh, Panda, Scooby-Doo. Uh, no, I do Scooby-Doo all the time. I do Kirby all the time, but uh, you know what? You've asked for him enough. Let's, let's get you your Kirby. I'll go for... And not the same old uh, pose I always do him in. I'll try and break things up for you. Just here for a few more minutes this afternoon. Just wanted to drop in and say hi. Wish you a happy Wednesday. Not quite. I didn't quite get it. I guess I can actually spin the head around a little bit then, but then what are you supposed to think this foot is? Like, swung all the way forward? Oh boy. All right, there's only a thousand of you. Here, this is one time, I'm not gonna see it through. I'm just gonna go to a straight to a new one and get it right this time. I always say, f just finish it and see how it turns out. That one, I just didn't want to. Kirby giving me trouble today. Usually I think of Kirby as being sort of in my uh, 
easy to draw list. Okay, jumping Kirby. Uh, and we still actually have two more minutes here, so let's draw something else. Darth Vader, Marvin the Martian, Groot, SpongeBob, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Eeyore, Eeyore. I like the use of it twice. Uh, let's go with uh, Panda Invader Zoom Naruto. All right, you said Eeyore so many times. Eeyore is another one I've been working on lately, getting a little bit uh, better in proportion. It's hard to find just the right, uh, I guess I guess proportion is the right word for it with Eeyore. I can't quite get him to have the right length of face. Well, let's see what I can't do. Eeyore's got uh, something in common with Bojack Horseman, I think. A long horsey face. Some type of chronic depression. This hair is going to come back along this way because we're doing a real sad looking arched back situation. He looks messed up. Yeah, he does. He looks pretty, uh, it's a pretty tightly wound Eeyore now that I'm drawing it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A little bit despondent, a little bit uh, traumatized, seems like. I mean, if any of... Uh, if any children's story characters are like primed for a story about mental health, uh, I'd give it to uh, the gang in the Hundred Acre Woods. Boy, this is a tweaked, tweaked Eeyore. All right, I'm not going out on this tweaked Eeyore. Let's do one more uh, character so I can draw somebody who doesn't look like, <laughs> like they're in such uh, dire straits been weeks since he's seen his tail, you guys. He is not doing well. Pray for Eeyore. Pray for Eeyore to just get it together and be all right. Or not, you know, we have patience for him if he, if he needs to take his time. But it just looks uncomfortable. Uh, more stitches. I don't see any stitches on his side. But if he would only look in the other direction, he would see his tail it was right by him all along. I'm going to go around to the button that holds it on. Sorry, I know I'm a little bit drawn off camera there. There, that's... That's Eeyore. He's wound up. This is long day, Eeyore. Actually, that's kind of the face Blue makes sometimes. My anxiety pooch. Okay, one more. Yeah, Eric Cartman. Great. That seems comfortable. It's funny. I'm typing in Eric Cartman like I need the Eric part. Pretty much, you're going to get to Cartman if you type in Cartman.
Okay, coming over the top like that. Echoing that first arch. Hat coming up. Well, I think this is going to be one of my better Cartmans. He said, speaking too soon. Don't count your eggs before they hatch. I don't know why I did that as Sean Connery, but I, ha I did. It happened. We're going to live with it. Okay, there's Cartman. Living his best life. Contributing to society. Helping other people feel good. You know? A positive role model for the world. Okay, guys. Uh, love you. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. I hope you have a good rest of your Tuesday. And I will see you next time. Thanks for being here.